So how to use Asana for project management. So welcome to this video, which we will be discussing how to boost efficiency and effectiveness in your works and projects. So for this video, we will be diving into the world of project management with the use of Asana. So what is Asana? It is a powerful project management tool that helps teams organize, track, and manage their work seamlessly. So this can be used either whether you're a solo entrepreneur, a small business owner, or maybe a part of a large corporation when you're working with teams or different people. So this website can revolutionize the way you collaborate and get things done. So we will be exploring the essential features of Asana and how you can leverage them to supercharge your productivity. Okay, so let's jump right in. So first thing is, we need to get started with Asana. So let's load up the website and remember to sign up for an account if you haven't done yet. So after creating an account, feel free to explore the basic features. So once you're logged in here, you'll be greeted with this clean and intuitive interface designed to streamline your project management workflow. So as you can see, uh, here are the tasks that you have uh, upcoming, overdue, and those that you have completed. So you can add in things here. Uh, the projects are here and who are included in your projects, tasks that you have assigned to your team members, your goals, your individual goals, your team goals, and of course the people or collaborators that are included in this team. So you can customize this area so you will be able to seamlessly see the things that are going on in your project. Okay. So step two here is to create projects and tasks. So projects are the backbone of your workflow. They help you organize and structure your work into smaller manageable units. So to be able to create a project, simply click on the plus icon here, choose project, give your project a name, set a due date if applicable, and add any other relevant details. So once your project is created, so you can start by adding tasks here. So just clicking the plus window within this project, okay? So let's say you're making a, let's, well, we can use a template here. So let's say we have a, a meeting agenda. So let's use this template. You can add in the members here, who manages it. Then what are the information here? Okay, now we can send an invite to them and then you can choose if it is uh, a peer, etc. Then click on continue. So you can put some uh, productive questions, okay? So like, how's your workload? What's your top priority for the week? Uh, do you have any project updates, etc.? And then you can further customize it here. Okay, so there's a form for each of those things that you might need. Now here's the sample interface of this meeting. So you can further customize is this or the FYIs, the other information you need for the next meeting, the previous topics that you have talked about, etc. Okay, you can also ask help from the AI here, which will be useful also. So the list, you have a board here, you have the timeline, a dashboard, a calendar, the workflow, messages, and even uploaded files. So here's an overview, so the project description, the roles of each of the members, the connected goals, the portfolios, etc. And then here on the side, you can choose the status. Is it on track, at risk, off track, and if you need email alerts, so you can also do it here. So step three involves assigning tasks and collaborating with your team. So one of the key benefits of Asana is its ability to facilitate collaboration among your team members. So like what we've seen earlier on the interface, you can assign tasks to specific team members. Set due dates. So you can set due dates, you can add comments to provide context or even ask questions. So by keeping all communication and tasks centralized within this project, within Asana, so you can ensure that everyone is on the same page and working towards common goals. Step four. Organizing tasks with sections and tags. So as your project grows, it is essential to keep things organized, easy to navigate, easy to find. So a feature that Asana offers is sections and tags to help you categorize and filter tasks effectively. So use sections to divide your project into different stages or categories. 
and use these tags to label tasks with relevant uh, keywords or themes, okay? Next here, step 5 would be uh, tracking progress with Asana's dashboard and timeline view. So with this dashboard, uh, you can get a bird's eye view of your project's progress and upcoming deadlines. So the dashboard provides an overview of all your projects, all your tasks, while the timeline view offers a visual representation of your project's timeline and dependencies. So use these uh, different views to be able to identify which are the bottlenecks, so which should you uh, reallocate your resources to be able to use them effectively and keep your projects on track. So step six would be for being able to integrate Asana with other tools or other apps. So we do know that Asana integrates seamlessly with a very wide range of tools and apps, which include Slack, uh, Google Drive, and even Microsoft Teams. So by connecting Asana with your favorite productivity tools, so you can streamline your workflow more. You'll be able to automate your repetitive tasks and enhance your collaboration across different platforms. So let's say you'd like to have meetings on Microsoft Teams. Uh, you have different files that are larger that are uploaded on Google Drive. So it makes it more seamless even by using this third party or other tools and applications, okay? Now let's go on to step seven, which is to be able to review and iterate uh, on your workflow. So finally, it's really essential to regularly review your workflow, be able to identify gaps or areas of improvement. So Asana provides robust reporting and an analytics feature that allows you to track project metrics, be able to analyze team performance and identify like what I said earlier, a bottlenecks in your projects. So you'll be able to use this data properly by iterating it on your workflow, implement the best practices, identify the gaps, and continuous wash, uh, continuously uh, optimize your project management processes. So I think that's all. Uh, I hope this guide, this tutorial on using Asana for project management was useful for you. So by following these different steps that I said and leveraging Asana's powerful features, you'll be able to streamline your workflow fast enough. Okay, so it takes time, it takes a bit of learning, but you'll get a hang of it. So boost your collaboration, achieve your project goals with ease. So that's all for this video. I hope you found this guide uh, into using Asana very insightful and actionable if you have questions. So feel free to message and until next time, happy organizing and may your projects be efficient and successful. So thanks guys and see you on our next video. Bye!